Would Ante Jazik please come forward? Let's, uh, let's watch some soccer highlights, folks. Ante Jazik of Bedford is Nova Scotia's most successful soccer talent with a 16-year professional career played for five different teams. I had a lot of contacts in England at Sheffield and I remember getting to uh, Dalhousie and seeing Ante play and telling, telling Sheffield United that this is a kid who I think could play professional. Uh, very disciplined, always in the right spot uh, at the right time. Just his, uh, you know, unselfish uh, willingness to play any role for the team, for, to put the team in the best position to win. I think his uh, best quality is his work ethic um, and I think, uh, you know, to his credit and his parents' credit, uh, that was instilled in him at an early age. You know, a super skilled player that, uh, you know, played a simple game for uh, our team and any team he played on. I, I think back on our playing careers together and how they coincided and how Ante helped me so much and just you know, showing that, you know, he, this kid from Halifax, Nova Scotia went on to accomplish so many great things. Why can't, why can't I, why can't I go on and push on to do some, some uh, impressive things as a player? Ante began his unmatched soccer career as a CIS All-Canadian and Rookie of the Year with Dalhousie, propelling them to their 1995 CIS Championship win. He was never about himself, always about the team and, uh, you know, always made the easy pass to whoever was open. And, and same thing when he was defending, just did everything, made everything look so easy. You know, Ante played, uh, played the game the same way, whether it was the first minute or last minute, and he was so fit that, you know, if you couldn't get around him in the first minute, he was obviously gonna be fitter than you, so you're not gonna get him around in the last minute, which was always a strength of his. Really what sets Ante apart from a lot of people is, is his mindset. Um, he's incredibly positive and and his outlook on everything, and he, he doesn't let anything really ever get him down. He was just a really, really technically superior player to, to, to everybody else. He, he, his technique, he, he very rarely gave the ball away. Um, he was, he, 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 I would say his, his pass completion was almost 100%. And when I think about Ante, there's a few things that come to mind. And I think one of the, you know, not only is Ante one of the most talented, gifted, uh, players that's ever come out of uh, Canada, and especially Nova Scotia, for that matter, it's uh, you know more or less I think about also his, his passion, his determination, and just his overall mental strength and his desire to to compete at the highest level. After racking up two national medals with the Halifax King of Donaire senior team, he joined the professional ranks and led his teammates to a Croatian Cup championship win in 2000 and a Croatian First League Championship title in 2001. Ante did it at a time when it was really, really difficult to do, and no one's even come close to having the kind of longevity and the number of games and playing for Canada that, that Ante did on the, on the men's side. And, uh, and I think down that, that it, this really should give a young player the, who, who's got quality the, 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 the sort of uh, uh, realisation that it can be done. You know, he's played against uh, Chelsea uh, when he was in Croatia. Played against uh, some other great teams uh, over there as well. Uh, played when he played with Canada. Played against some of the premier teams in the world. So I mean, he's been exposed to not only the best teams but the best players in the world, and always, you know, has always held his own. Hello, Ante. Um, so proud of you. Uh, well deserved, obviously. Uh, you've come a long way from from the training at uh, at Stade Kona and uh, and running the hill with the weight jacket on. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those situations that you, you should really cherish. You work hard for everything that you've achieved. And I, I'm, I'm glad to, to call you my friend. I'm glad to be in a situation where I was uh, able to work with you both as a youth player and then as a, as a senior player. All the best in your coaching and, um, you know, we must keep in touch. Take care. Right, I was working for Light Soccer Nova Scotia during his career. I was director of coaching. And I'd ask him to come back and talk to the young players, and it was like he'd always do things. You know, I mean, he was—he he didn't lose his roots. Uh, he's still the same person. He just had this amazing career. It's not changed him. I think um, the, the longevity of his career, 
uh, playing as long as he did in multiple uh, leagues. I think that that's a testament to, to the quality player he is. It wasn't just one league in one country, he played in several leagues in several countries. Um, and uh, and ov obviously playing for Canada as many times as he did and captain in his country. And a two-time captain for Team Canada at the World Cup qualifications. Ante's incredible skill has even earned him a place on the field with teammate David Beckham during his contract with the LA Galaxy. Having, having that kind of career coming from Bedford, I mean, it, it's, it's, um, it's unbelievable when you put it in the, con like in the context of all of the sports. So uh, it's so far off the charts from what anyone else has been able to do on the, on the men's side. You know, I coached him as a player uh, and it was a pleasure to have him on the field and off the field. Uh, someone uh, with great love and dedication to the game. And now I have him as a staff member, uh, you know, his knowledge uh, and passion for the game, uh, he really, uh, you know, passes on to the young generation. Uh, so again, uh, I want to congratulate him for a great achievement and I wish him all the best. Sometimes uh, Ante's career happened uh, in the background and kids didn't really understand or know and I think really this is an opportunity to really put, put, the, put, put the record straight and let young kids who are currently coming up through the system or aspire to go on and want to play professionally that this is ha that it can happen and here's a great example of how it's happened and I think him being inducted gives the, gives the soccer community, his family and his friends the opportunity to really thank Ante for Given us all this, letting us all share this journey, and uh, and I think that's a, that that, that it's, it's it's a really great opportunity for everybody to to acknowledge uh, the, the the first class uh, career that, that he that he had. Tonight, we induct Ante Jazik into the Nova Scotia Sports Hall of Fame. All right, to present the plaque, one of the all-time great Nova Scotia soccer players, a member of the Hall of Fame, Mr. Ross Webb. And for the pin, a former teammate of Ante's with the National University gold medal winning Dalhousie Tigers soccer team of 95, a member of the Hall of Fame, Trevor Chisholm. How many people over the years have mispronounced your first name? <laughs> Thousands. You mostly get auntie? Auntie, aunt. Are we going back to the, my first day at school? Sure. John Michael Ryan, and there's an aunt Jasek here? Is it auntie? Ani? Ante, right? Ante, correct. Yeah. Um, what, a, what a great run. Soccer's a really physical sport. To what do you attribute your longevity? I've been fortunate. To, the foundation that I possess was created here with these players, with these coaches, my family. Stephen Hart was in that video who was a mentor to me at a young age, strapped a weight jacket on me, I ran up St. Uh, uh, Francis Xavier Hill and uh, worked on my pace, worked on my skill. But uh, just perseverance. Soccer came easy to me here in Nova Scotia, but when I arrived in Europe, especially in Croatia, I was telling my in-laws today, the coaches are ruthless. So I never thought I was good enough in Europe. I never thought I was good enough. So I always had to push every day. And then when I got to Major League Soccer, I was like, I'm 30 years old, I can enjoy the last four years. And they said, your contract's not guaranteed. <laughs> so they could cut me at any time. It was like the NFL. So I never could relax. So every training session, I try to give my all. And uh, coaches recognized that, and I was able to play 17 to 18 years, I think. Why was this, of all the sports, you're a good athlete. Why was this the sport that, that grabbed you and held you for so long? Well, my parents are from Croatia, so soccer is the most popular sport there. So at a young age, they registered me for soccer, and then I was fortunate enough to have great youth coaches. Carl Fleming and John Robinson were my first coaches. They're here today. I think they haven't seen each other in 20 years. So that's amazing. And then, like I said, Stephen Hart, but my teammates with Halifax Hinoner, with the Dalhousie Tigers. When I was playing for Canada, I didn't just play for myself, it was for Nova Scotia. 
When I heard the anthem, it wasn't about Ante Jazik, it was about Nova Scotia, and representing my province with pride, representing those individuals. Yeah. I think you're the only Nova Scotian ever to captain Team Canada? I think so, yes. I actually know so, it's true, yeah. <laughs> I'm positive. We don't just throw that stuff out there. Um, uh, how, are you, how are you giving back to the game today? So right now I'm the coach of the Canadian U15 national team, the assistant coach for the 17s and 20s. So I travel frequently. Um, my number one priority is to identify talent. So recognizing the pathway for these young players to get them in professional environments. Hopefully for a player in Nova Scotia, we can get them into a more competitive environment at a younger age and have a, a future Ante Jazics playing professionally and playing for our country and getting Canada to a World Cup, which we so deserve. What, uh, what does your story, a young guy from Bedford playing 17, 18 years of pro soccer, what does your story say to all the kids playing soccer right now in the Maritime Provinces? A wise man once said, never, never quit. Do you know? <laughs> but honestly... <laughs> yeah. You kind of threw that back on me. That was nice, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but honestly, for me, I think just the ability to adapt. The life of a professional athlete, you have highs and lows, and that's week to week. So I was able to stay grounded most of the time and just kind of play my game and believe in myself and have the longevity and the career I had, which is a testament to the people that worked with me early on in my years. And here we are tonight, folks, our newest inductee, Ante Jasek. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Excellent.